Hello Katrina and Tim viewers, we're back and today is another weekend with us and we are actually heading to where? We are going to the Asian market today. Yeah. Love, what are we? What's a special occasion? Well, actually, um, it's really special. I'm kind of, let's just say, celebrating my third year anniversary here in the United States because um, it's, I, I remember, it's actually um, a memorial, is it Memorial Labor Day? Memorial Day? The one on Monday? Mm, Labor Day. Labor Day. So I came here when it's Labor Day and it's gonna be Labor Day weekend and Tim is actually gonna cook for me today. What am I gonna cook? So Tim is going to make um, my favorite meal which is sinigang. Like that's my ultimate fa favorite. Well, before anything else, I want to thank all of you for all those suggestions. And Tim will probably make those in the, the next time. But today he's going to make sinigang, and we're heading to Portland to get some of the ingredients for that. Yeah, and uh, Ooh, see, there's a the thing is we got a lot of requests from from viewers on things that I should be I should cook. Well. Then my wife made a request, and so, yeah. so I decided to, to, to take her request first, and I will be making synagogue. Um, Haven't eaten that for a long time. Yeah, I've never cooked it before. I'm not a particularly good cook. I don't cook very often, uh, and typically when I do, it's something that's more, it's more ready-made. I'm not 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 from scratch type of person. I don't have that level of patience, <laughs> and so, but today, because. Uh, a very loving and caring wife who cooks for me and <laughs> takes care of me. I'm, I'm going to take care of her. Hey, that's exciting. So, I think the hard part for me is every YouTube video I watch about the um, that's talking about the the ingredients. Mm -hmm. Everybody has something different that they put in the that they put in their their synagogue. So. Uh, some people put broccoli in it. Some people simmer the meat before they put it before they put it in there. Some people boil and then they sift all the all the leftover junk out of it. So there's tons of different ways to do it. The way that I'm going to do it is I'm actually going to pressure cook the meat and I'm going to use rib meat. Um, and the whole purpose of pressure cooking is one, it will tenderize the meat very quickly. Two, it'll bring out the flavor in the bones. Um, and it's my understanding that that's a big part of uh, the sabao, making it flavorful. Yep, yeah, yeah, the sabao, that's like what's important. And so that's what I'm <gasps> going to be, that's going to be my technique. Um, from the videos <laughs> I've watched, it's 15 to 20 minutes of, uh, of pressure cooking. I'm going to open it up and then I'm going to go and I'm going to filter out all the, um, all the stuff that floats to the top. Then I'm going to, I'm going to boil it. I'm going to put some vegetables in. Um, King Kong. I'm gonna put. Um, oh, yes. I have to put one of those uh, eggplant. Mm -hmm, like a, yep. I have to put eggplant in it. Mm -hmm. I gotta get um, tamarind mix. Um, and the other things. Okra. Yeah, good. Um, do you want green beans in it? No. I see some people put green beans in it. And so I think those are the primary. Kong. Oh, I said Kong. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, I feel like this is going to be a little bit of an experiment. I've got <laughs> fish sauce. So, I've done research. I've done my research. Yeah. But I've never done it before. And I think that here's a challenge is that because there are so, so many variations in recipes, like you could follow one recipe perfectly and it won't come out right for another person. For example, I saw some per one person who put two tamarind packages, tamarind mixed packages into, into the soup because they wanted to have it extra sour. Well, if you don't like it extra sour, you're just going to put one pack in. Mm -hmm. So the challenge for me is that I have to use my instincts and yeah. in my heart to know what my wife is going to like. Uh-huh. And usually like the Filipino style of cooking is we don't really like measure. We're like tancha, like we're just kind of like the feel, you know? So that's how usually us Filipino cook, so you gotta have to do it. I know you're very good at measuring, like you measure you measure everything when you make your like you know, mac and cheese and stuff. 
but this time you're gonna have to like really taste it and like adjust the taste or adjust the seasoning based on how you feel about the taste. That's right. My whole heart and soul is gonna go into this uh, this meal. Yeah, I'm excited. That's like my favorite meal. So I hope it's gonna be really, really delicious. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think there's other other meals. What other meals did we're, we're, we're talking about in the um, People ask, ask me to cook. Oh well, I think one one subscriber asked for you to make champarado, which is like the chocolate rice. Ooh, champarado! Mm -hmm. You have champarado. You have champarado with um, chocolate rice. With what do you what do you have it with? Like tuyo, it's like a dried fish. Okay. Yeah, I guess I've never tried it myself. Like honestly, because I like eating champarado with the pandasal, but I would love to try it. Like I've heard it, it's really really good. I would love to try it next. Maybe next week, next weekend, we might try that. I actually think I've had champarado before. I think it is champarado with, with some milk on top of it. Yeah, that's what, I, that's what I'm used to eating. But I've never tried the combination of champarado and the dried fish or the tuyo. Mm -hmm. So that's really, really interesting. I should, I should try that. I'm going to have... Once I, once I go through all the recommendations that people have given, yeah. then I'm going to open my own Filipino restaurant. Well, why not? I mean, Probably not. <laughs> Probably be a lot of sick people around where we live if I, if I did that. <laughs> no, but I would love to like have a restaurant. Maybe when I'm older and you know when I retire, we'll see. What do you think? Know. What do you think your specialty would be if you had a restaurant? Um, I don't know. Um, that's I. I think I make a pretty good caldereta. Mhm. Mm so that and. I just learned to make that kalamai, so I, I did it twice already, and both times the, the, the people that ate it think it's really good, so maybe that, I don't know, I mean, yeah. There's a lot of different things that you can do. Mm -hmm. I think um, owning a restaurant is like, it's one of the riskiest businesses because your inventory doesn't last very long. Um, it only has a certain shelf life or otherwise it goes bad so you have to be very good at forecasting how many customers you're going to be having yeah. but you also don't want to under forecast because then you're going to have customers coming in ordering things and they're not going to get what they want and so that creates a poor customer experience um, so I think to run a successful restaurant you have to have a lot of money so that you can oh just own a jolly bean yeah yeah that you can they, never go wrong well they have it yeah they have they, they, they do all the they have everything figured out for you I would love to have the Jollibee in the future. Maybe that's the franchise. You, you open up the Jollibee franchise here. Yeah, they don't have it in Portland yet, so maybe. Oh, that could be your thing. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Chicken. Yeah, chicken hamburger. It, it, it costs so like it's expensive to open one of these franchises. It's like a yeah, but few, I think, few hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, but I think the return will be good. You think so? I think so. I mean, there's a lot of Filipinos in Portland. Yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe we'll look into that at some point. Maybe that'll be your thing. Yeah, but anyways. It's gonna be not in the near future. We're just kind of like thinking about it. So, anyways, if you're in the Northwest and you want a Jolly Bee, yes. comment <laughs> down below. We just we, we we need to do market research. We need to understand how many people we're gonna get coming to our to our Jolly Bee, <laughs> Katrina and Tim Jolly Bee. Well, it's just a a, a future plan. So let's not make their hopes up. <laughs> <laughs> what's your What's your favorite dish at Jolly Bee? Um, I think there's spaghetti. Oh yeah. Yeah. S cheesy spaghetti with hot dog. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But actually, guys, um, if you're in the United States, I think the closest we can get that is almost as good as Jollibee would be uh, Popeye's mild chicken. Like it's really good. I really like it a lot. Yeah, it's super tasty. Yeah, Popeye's. Yeah, fried chicken is delicious. So far, that's it. I don't. I mean, it's not that I've tried a lot of fried chicken. Yeah, it's actually one thing I've adapted to, like from from all our trips to the Philippines, is um, having the gravy, the gravy on the chicken with the rice. Oh yeah, yeah. Are you putting it on your rice now? Like, oh like man. Soup? Uh, no, but I I, oh. I I do like it with the um, I do like it with the uh, the chicken. Yeah. Yeah. My my plan is. Oh man. Yeah, I'm hungry now. Super hungry. So we're going to Chick Fil A to grab some some quick lunch before we go to the ancient market. Yeah, one thing you have to do if you move here is like if there 
you have to go do go through all the different fast food options. But all fast food is bad for you. So like, don't don't get it twisted. You can't eat eat just just eat fast food all the time. This like is you, can't eat, a, you cannot eat it every day. Like no no no. This is a this is a very occasionally we'll we'll go to go to fast food. Yeah. But one of the better ones in terms of health is is Chick Fil A. You get some chicken nuggets. Um, and that's lower calorie than you know if you're uh, to go out and get a get a burger or something like that. Yeah. But yeah, that's it's super delicious though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. I think of all the Filipino franchise franchises. There's Jollibee, Chow King. Mm-hmm. Um, what Red Ribbon? Yeah, Red Ribbon. What's your favorite? <laughs> and the rice. Oh yeah, actually that, that is that, that, that's my favorite too. Yeah, I, I like manginasa. Man. Yeah. Cause growing up, I mean, we don't really go to fast food often. You know, we're so poor, we can't afford it. <laughs> so I only, I only started eating out. I mean, probably when I'm already working, and it's not even often. I just don't eat out. But I really like manginasa because you know the soup. They have like the sour soup, the, the sinigang soup. Mm-hmm. So I really like that they have that free. Yep. Then of course the rice. It's given and all yep. the rice. And the chicken. And I can get sisig there. I can get halo halo. So they have everything. Everything you could ever want yeah. there. Oh, it's so delicious. Yeah, that's why every time we go back to the Philippines, we gain like 10 pounds. I know. I gained 10 pounds that I still haven't lost in April. <laughs> <laughs> That's so hard. That's the hard part when you got so much delicious food. I know. So, we went on like one vacation after the other. We went to the Philippines in April. Of course, we just like eat a lot in there. And then a few months after, we went to Mexico. It's buffet. I don't know. Oh yeah, we went to the all-inclusive place in Mexico. Mm-hmm. They, uh, and then now, fall is approaching, it's gonna be cold, I don't know when I'm gonna lose my extra pounds, but anyways. <laughs> yeah, I think the hard, you know what the hard part is, is like if you grew up poor and you didn't have a lot, of, you know, you didn't always have enough to eat growing up, it's like, when you have unlimited food, you are gonna eat unlimited food. Well, I'm not like that, it's not because, uh, that's, that's not it, I mean. I am. I don't think I, I eat a lot in a buffet, but I think my problem is I just can't say no to rice. Oh yeah, you're more disciplined than I am. I, boy, man, when I get going, I you can't stop me. I love eating. You know, it's like remember when we get those buckets of chicken when we're in the Philippines. I just kept <laughs> kept kept eating and eating and eating. Yeah. I can't stop. Or if it's like casino or. All that food is just super delicious. I mean, look at Chick-fil-A, it's busy. Yeah. Are we just gonna order, like, drive through? Either way, do you just want to eat in there? Yeah. Just... Yeah, that way we don't have to worry about all the... Uh... Yeah, uh, by the way, I want to thank you all, guys. Our subscriber is growing. I cannot believe it. Like, I think in a matter of a few days, like this week, we got the most subscriber. And thank you, thank you very much for... For supporting us like we promise to upload more videos more often you know as much as we can and we're gonna make more content as well about dating and like relationship and stuff so i just want to say thank you thank you very much for supporting us and we really really appreciate it oh yeah it makes me super happy yeah. like seeing all the nice people and all the nice comments and it makes us want to provide more advice and that's what like you know katrina and i one thing we talk about is it was so fun when we were when we were in a long distance relationship, obviously it's better when we're here, but there's the level of excitement yeah. and, and energy. And you know, all we really want to do is just help people. Uh, we want to help people have that same experience. So yeah, just stay tuned. Keep keep on viewing, keep on subscribing, and let us know what you want to know about what Dating. we can help you with. Yeah, and I believe like if I was able to find someone that would love me like unconditionally, you too can find it. Like I am no special. If I can find someone, you can find someone. It's just a matter of time and patience. So it's going to be your destiny will be your decision. So just keep on watching and we're going to provide you with more videos and helping you find someone or find the one for you. So like, 
share, and subscribe. Alright, see you later. We, uh, we're going to the Asian market after we eat, so we'll go see you then. Alright, okay. thanks. Bye bye. I don't know what we talked about either. Hello, Katrina and Tim subscribers. Back again. Heading to the Asian market now after a delicious lunch. I'm going to try and pick up ingredients for not just the, the, the synagogue, mm -hmm. but I also think we should probably pick up for some of the other stuff that those people that are viewers should mention. I think it would be really nice if I got are you, a... Are you going to be cooking for me every week now? Maybe. <laughs> if I'm lucky. Yeah, if you're lucky. If you keep up that good behavior. Ooh, you, okay. You might be getting yourself some... Sa and sa. Well, sa and sa. Oh, wait. Actually, you know what? Oh, my gosh. I'm all over the place. Sorry, everybody. <clears throat> oh, I, I got go loop de loop. Look at all this family eating at Chick fil A. I know. Chick fil A is a very family oriented establishment. Yeah. You know they're closed on Sunday for, for church. stuff at the Asian market. Yeah. Katrina loves it. There's snacks and there's, well, there's lots of Filipino food. Yeah. Everything you could ever dream of. It's like a candy store for me. Yeah. But instead of just candy, you have food and candy. <laughs> That's true. Whew. Do you have anything special in mind that you're planning on getting? Like for myself? Yeah. I don't know. Um, maybe we can make a box of chum box champurado. Because mm. there's like a ready-made one there. Oh, really? So. I mean, I don't know if they have it. It's some Asian market here, so. <clears throat> oh, it's possible we could, uh, Cusinero Tim could be making not just synagogue, but he could also be making champurado. <laughs> you guys are lucky, you'll see my special champarado. Yeah. It's special because I've never made it before. Ever it since special. Ever since Tim got a lot of views from that video, now he's like so like enthusiastic on like doing more. So I want to give the viewers what they want. The viewers want popcorn, they want champarado, they want what was the other ones? I don't know, like like there's there's one that's I think Pachero. Oh look it up look look it up on your phone. Let's see who, who the viewers are who ask. Oh yeah. Let me see. I've never tried it before, so I'm really, really curious about how it tastes. My classmate, Clarissa Labra Labarda, hello, Clam. She suggested kare kare, but that's gonna be a lot. It's kind of hard, but it's kind of like a, a peanut butter a peanut butter stew. Oh, wow, that sounds delicious. I actually like it, but I don't crave it if it's not there. I mean, I cannot remember the last time I had it. So it's, so it's just a peanut butter stew? Kind of, but um, in the Philippines, we use ox Okay. For that. Nice. Yeah. So that, and you put bagoong on the side of that one. Bagoong? Yeah. Yeah. 
that's actually one of my favorite Thai dishes is uh, it's like a peanut sauce with, oh, you with know, noodles. Oh, yeah. you might like that one. Yeah, maybe. Maybe I'll make it for you. I love peanut butter. You know they have, here there's a place called Killer Burger, and they've got a peanut butter burger. Yeah, that's my favorite. It is delicious. It's very savory. I don't think uh, most people don't, don't realize, I know, but peanut butter with everything is delicious. Hard to find something it doesn't go with. I don't, I don't eat enough peanut butter. They're so delicious. I remember when I was a kid, one of my favorites, you have a peanut butter sandwich, and then you put it in the microwave for like a few seconds, and then it makes all the bread all soft and it melts the peanut butter. Oh my gosh, it's like... I like the Philippine oh, peanut the butter because it's sweeter. Oh yeah, you love it sweet. But you can get sweet peanut butter. Like I think the Jif here and everything like that, that's pretty sweet, right? Yeah. Jif, you put some honey in it? I'll no, sweeten but it right up. Time introduced me to peanut butter and jelly. So I've never tried it in my life until until just last December. Because mm -hmm. someone gave us a gave me a strawberry jam. Yep. And changed my life. It's really yummy. Yeah, and then you have to, every time you have, have it, you have to sing the peanut butter jelly song. <laughs> what is it? You know the peanut butter jelly song? No. Peanut butter jelly time, peanut butter jelly time, where you at, where you at? <laughs> I have to look up. You have to look it up, the peanut butter jelly time, now you know it. Yeah, definitely. That's pretty much the lyrics. sales tax. There's no sales tax on that side of the bridge, so save a little jingling here and there. Very cheap. Curry pot, I believe is the word that you guys use. Yeah, curry pot. Stingy. <laughs> you know curry pot. You don't think I'm curry pot? No, you're not. You're generous. Very generous. Right? For my generous wife. That's how I know you're gonna get everything that I want from the <laughs> That's why you call the defense mechanism. Uh, no, reverse psychology. <laughs> oh, yeah. Reverse psychology. You're really, really buttering me up because you want all the snacks. Yeah. All the Filipino snacks. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright. Now I'll give Katrina a little tip here when she's driving. So at some point she's gonna drive over, drive over the drive over the bridge. It's just part of it. There's just way more stuff on the other side of the bridge. And so this is one of I think one of the more challenging, even for an experienced driver, it's a little bit more of a challenging exit because it's one of those loop-de-loops. You got two people who are trying to merge onto the freeway and people who are trying to merge onto the loop-de-loop. -loop. I think that's a technical term. Is loop-de-loop. -loop. No. <laughs> it's a roundabout. Oh no. No, this isn't roundabout. See this? Look. I know. Yeah. You gotta make sure your speed and your tempo is just right. Mm -hmm. And you gotta squeeze in, make sure. See that? Yeah. That, like a glove. Okay. By the way, if any of our viewers is in a, a long distance relationship, we're very curious to know how is it going. Like, if you already met in, in person, or how long have you been in a, an online or long distance relationship or LDR? So let us know. We're we're very much willing to help if you have a question, and we're very curious how it's going. Yeah, I I love hearing about people's stories. Yeah, like we watch all the different everybody else who's in LDR on their uh, their YouTube videos. So if you're in LDR, actually. If you're in an LDR, do a vlog just like this. Yeah. Tell us what you guys are up to. Cause I want to hear the story. Mm -hmm. I'm sure people will, would love to know. Like, of, as we've always say before, like we are in the time where we shouldn't limit ourselves with someone on your barangay or on your school. Like, 
you know like um, the possibility is endless if you don't think you can meet you cannot meet someone around your neighborhood then you know date online like the possibility is endless who would have known that you know I'm gonna end up living in, in Camas Washington you know like but you know I put myself out there and I and I look and I you know that's what I wanted and then you know I look after it and then you know I dated on I mean I went online and find someone and then I did now we're, we're together easy peasy mm -hmm. just go on online man the uh we are the world is more connected than it ever has been yeah. and so there's endless possibilities tons of people to talk to and you know if you're like well you know it's a long distance here's what i would say when you find love you should that's what you should sacrifice for. if there's anything that you should go out of your way for it's finding love yeah i remember like you know, I'm a breadwinner and I've been, I've been, I've, I've done a little bit of sacrifice for my family. But I always told to myself that one thing that, that I would never sacrifice is, is love. You know, it's kind of like cheesy to hear, but it's really, really true. Like, I told myself that when it comes to love, I'm going to choose who I want to be with. And I'm going to, I'm going to be, I want to fall in love. I want to be with someone that I fell in love with. And I'm not gonna let anybody dictate whether it's my financial situation or my family background. I'm not gonna let that dictate who I'm gonna end up with. It's gonna be my, you know, my destiny is gonna be my decision. And I'm happy that, you know, it actually happened because, you know, life is so short to, to be with someone that you're not happy with. Yeah. Right? <clears throat> you should be someone, with someone that you're thrilled with. Mm -hmm. Worked out for me. <laughs> but, uh, I don't know about you, but... <laughs> I'm through with the synagogue, that's for okay. sure. <laughs> once I, once you taste the synagogue, maybe, mm -hmm. maybe you can answer that question. Of course, I'm through with you. <laughs> don't you don't need? I didn't need to answer that. You know that already. No, but seriously, like you can you can do a lot of sacrifice for your family, but I think love is one thing that. You just have to give it to yourself. Like I told myself, I'm gonna give it to myself. Like I want to be with someone. I want to have a happy family. I mean, well, happy family. You know, we can never have a perfect family, but I want to have my own family to, you know, to, to nurture and stuff in the future. And I want to give it to myself that I'm gonna put myself out there and I'm gonna chase after it because it's my dream. And you know, nobody can tell me that you cannot do this or that. Like. You know, as I said, life is so short, so you have to like chase for it, like, go. Yeah, go for love, man. That's right, life is, life is too short, you only have one life to live. Yeah, like, for example, if, you, if you're like unhappy right now, and you're in like a not very, you know, very functional, happy relationship, I know it's gonna be hard to like break it off, but if you're, if you're scared, Maybe you can ask yourself a question. What are you scared for? Are you scared to be like genuinely happy? You know? Yeah, I think um, <clears throat> if you are in that situation and you're not happy, write down what it is that you think would make you happy. Yeah. I don't think it's a, for everybody it's a, it's a bit different, but really take stock of what it is that you want. And once you identify what you want, ask yourself, can I get that in my current situation or, do, or am I gonna need to make some changes? Well, here's our promise. We're gonna make maybe we'll get ocean and not maybe, but we will. We will make another video about talking about, you know, how do we deal with heartbreaks. So yeah, it's gonna probably be on the next video. Yeah. Or in her case, making a video about breaking hearts. No. <laughs> I, I, my heart got a heart broken. My heart got broken before too, but it is what it is. I mean. I think nothing in life, like anything that's like worth it and I mean even for success, right? Nothing in life comes easy. Because if it does, everyone will be successful. Everyone will have a happy relationship. Everyone will just be, you know, okay. But you know, it takes a lot of patience, effort, failures, disappointment. And now like looking back, I'm I'm like I'm, you know, when I watch her proposal, proposal video, 
and those are totally like um, spontaneous. Like I did not know I'm gonna be, you know, to be that <laughs> that night. And but whenever, whenever I look back and watch that video and what I said to Tim, I think that really sums up how I felt that night. Like because I told him that video that all feed all failed relationship and disappointments are all worth it and it's really worth the wait because it is really you know like <clears throat> it's not that you meet someone right now and you're gonna end up with that and it's gonna work out it's not gonna work that way so just put yourself out there and be patient and know what you want so that if this uh, relationship is not working for you then you know when when to exit Oh man, failure and rejection are all part of the part of the journey. Yeah. You get out, you put yourself out there. Mm. Okay. Put on a strong face. <laughs> yeah. You go out and you say, you know what? You know I have what? all these great qualities. <laughs> the world is my oyster. I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna start talking to people, I'm not gonna settle. I'm not, I'm not going to settle until I find the person that I, I want to be with. Like for me, I told myself, I want to be with someone who is going to make a sinigang kumyo on a Saturday. That's right. See, it only took me uh, <laughs> three see years. Here, it's almost, almost four years <laughs> since we started talking. Four years and two years after, after marriage. Yeah, I don't know if our wedding vow is um, complete on our wedding video, but... Tim put that in his wedding bow, bow for me, so. The wedding vows. Yeah, he's finally fulfilling it today, so I'm really excited. That's right, one down, there's probably about 10 to go. Yeah. But yeah, that's really <clears throat> exciting. I know, I'm excited to try this out. I, <clears throat> I got the, uh, we're getting the cooker today. I just gotta prep the ingredients. Mm -hmm. This is going to be a very masterful cooking experience. You guys, everybody is going to be thrilled. I just wish you could taste it. <laughs> Actually, it's probably good that you can't because it's my first time. It might not be very delicious. No, I'll be fine. But I'll try my best. I can promise that I will try my best. Pretty soon I'm going to do YouTube cooking classes. <laughs> It'll be called Cooking for Asawa. Cooking for Asawa. Oh, that's a good one. Or Kusanero Tim. Put in the comments below, what should my cooking show be called? <laughs> the Master Chef. That's right. No, we're we Master Kusanero. The Master Kusanero, there you go. The Master Kusanero. <sighs> What's the word for chef? That's cook, right? Kusanero is cook. Yeah. What's chef? The Tagalog Pusinero. I think it's the same, Pusinero. Chefi. Pusinero. Because there is someone who cooks, but it's probably the same. Yeah. See, I'm someone who cooks, so I'm Pusinero. Yeah. Pusinero Tim.
The weather today is so nice. Oh yeah. I think the way that you would describe today's weather, pleasant. Yeah, it's like not uh, cold, but not hot as well. That's right. Absolutely pleasant. Okay, I think I take a left. Take a left. Well, I think far there. Yeah, when I get to 82nd Avenue, I take a left. Yeah, like this. Yeah. Okay, we're good. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, there's a garden place. We've been there. I know. Where we found the uh, really expensive calamansi. Yeah, you can get you can get a giant cal calamansi plant for seventy nine dollars. Yeah, that's a lot. American. It's a lot of money. Yeah, yeah. This guy. Oh, look at him. Look at his hat. <laughs> his hat is blue. Very festive. Pizza, drinks. Lunch for five ninety nine. Chicken. Wait a minute, is that ending cuisine? Best case in the cuisine. Oh, they got pizza. They got everything there. Yeah. Spice kitchen. Oh, taste of Fiji. Oh, maybe I have multiple places to eat there. Second Avenue. Mm -hmm. This is you say? Yeah. I can't remember. You said this is where you are. Oh yeah, this is where all the uh, Asian stores are. Asian stores and Asian restaurants. Where's Wajimaya? Wajimaya. That's in Beaverton. It's over on the west side. That's a bit of a commute. Is it so far from here? Oh yeah, super far. Oh man, another stop. <laughs> Going to go find the recipes or the, the ingredients <laughs> for the synagogue. Yep. Exciting. All right. To be continued. <laughs> it's like a kid in a candy store. So excited. See? Okay. Everything you could ever want. Let's try them. Elmo, <laughs> Buzz Lightyear, religious statues, lions, <laughs> Mr. Buddha again. The ingredients. Watch where you're going. It's not like in the car where you can run over everything you want. Green mangoes. Rambutan. A choy. Do you know what you need to get? Yeah, I need to get Kong. Do you want me to tell you or do you know it? You want this one? No, it's better. I need taro. Oh yeah. Okay, I'll go grab it. 
this? Yeah, this is. This one? Okay. What is it? Kong. Yeah. <laughs> Bang Choi, according to the Chinese. Okay. Small so, taro. Yeah, that's the one that's Large gonna taro. make the. So that's the one that's gonna make the soup thick. Okay. And I have to grind that one. No. You, so after you boil it, you mash it. Okay. You got the right side. So. <laughs> Gosh darn it. Here, hold this. <laughs> Excuse me. Maybe two big ones are good. <laughs> what are you smelling? Good. <laughs> Good. All right, here. Let me do this. Let me video you to know if you really know what you're gonna get. Okay. So Tim so far got Kang Kong, and <laughs> and the taro. Okay. What else do you need, love? Well, we're still on the vegetable aisle. Oh yeah. We need we need tomatoes and onion. That's a lot. <laughs> Maybe two. This one. A little one? Yeah. The Roma tomatoes. Okay. Oh, this one is good. Are you nervous? Extremely. <laughs> oh me? What do you find there? Babinka. Filipino native cake ready mix. You are gonna make it for me? Maybe, if you like. <laughs> you want it? Yeah, sure. Okay. I'll bake this one up. This Filipino specialty. I think I can do it. Cool. All right. Oh wow, all of it's Filipino. Well, what about the cochinta? Oh, that's what you want, huh? I've never tried to box one, but... <laughs> See what a good husband I am? I'm gonna make my wife some kutsita. What is it? Kutsita. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. I love that. Little peanut native cake ready mix. Mm-hmm. Do it. Ending from the box. Mm-hmm. You got your, you got your bun. I can't wait some... Oh, if you're gonna make this, is what you use for champarado, tablea. Oh man, you see, you see how this cooking adventure has turned into? <laughs> That's everything she sees, she wants. Yeah. Everything she wants, she gets. Right? <laughs> you started it, love. Oh. Yeah, that's actually like to make an authentic champarado. You use those chocolate tablets. Well, does it have champarado over here? No, we have the sticky rice already. So you just mix that with the sticky rice. Oh, really? Yeah, okay. and then um, milk. That's it. How then, love? I want to get just like one sardine. Oh my god, what's that? Mochi. 
Ooh, that looks good. Have you ever had a mango mochi? It's delicious. It's like a little breading, okay? Wrapped around delicious ice cream. Ooh, I want to try. You want to get some of this? Sure. Are you going to be good? <laughs> you behave yourself. You can get a mochi. What if not? <laughs> I don't know if there's anything I can do about that. How about this? Which one do you want? Tommy, melon, or the mango? You pick. Uh, probably mango. <laughs> I said you pick, but I pick. I'll let you pick. Mango. Okay. Well, look at you have your own. That's right. Tim snacks. That's right. Tim's all over it. You want your CC? Um. Oh my god, love. How can I lose weight now? Yeah, but I've... Tocino, where'd it go? Dude, this pork Tocino. No, I mean your CC. Oh, uh, it's okay. Do you want something for yourself? Oh my gosh. Yeah, that was really good. See this? Oh, look how nice you are. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Ooh, wait, hold on. Also, this is where you get all the frozen... Yeah. Frozen chili. Wow. Where can I get this love? Where are you? Because my calamansi will take some time before it go. Anything. anything I didn't really have that. I should have got it for, for a long time ago. Uh -huh. What else should I get? I'll take advantage because my husband is going to pay this. <laughs> oh, did you hear what I said? What? I said I'll take advantage because you're paying for this. Um, yeah. <laughs> That's why we're staying. Yeah, I think I'll pass you the fish. It's okay. Okay. We have everything we need now, huh? I think so. Oh, they have the Vietnamese like noodle soup here. Oh yeah. Are you sure you don't want any of this, love? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, we can always go back here. Yeah, see? Oh, longanisa. How much is this? Argentina brand. Yeah. Spicy. You like Looks the sweet one, huh? Yeah. Looks yummy. The pineapple juice. Is this the one that you... Yes, I think we're almost complete. We got the long, we got Hong Kong, we got... Um, I, want the, I want gabe with it so that the broth is thick. And we got ribs, but we probably get okra because I want okra for my sinigang, so let's go get it. I know, let's go look for it. I'm not seeing it yet, hold on. We found the okra. So this okra cost, let's see, $2.87 for all of this. Um, let's see if there's like a smaller pack. 
$2.84. Yeah, or $84, 87 $2.60, but my arm is too short to get it. $2.72. Alright, let's get that. This one. See here in the United States, oops, a patani or patole is, let's see, $2.67 for patola. So pricey. $1.75. Hello. How's your grocery so far? Casino Tim is very happy. Casino <laughs> Tim is very happy. Good. <laughs> Only the finest ingredients for my synagogue. <laughs> Only the finest. All right. So I guess we're checking out now. Yeah. I'm still trying to find a like, little bit of snacks here and there. Oh, you love snacks. Yep. Crazy nice. I was craving for whole pot soup base. No. That, that waits for the wintertime. Yeah. I'm, I'm looking for hop, yeah. Oh, this is half over. Here's the snack aisle. Yeah, I don't think they have it. Hop, yeah, is like a kind of like a mongo. Yeah, it's okay. It's like a soft one. I think it may have been back there. That's fine. Okay. It's not good for me. <laughs> Let's see where we can go. Alrighty. Uh, yeah. Look at you. Lines are very long today. To how's, your, how's your um, journey with your sinigang? Oh, it's gonna be fantastic. We got all the freshest ingredients so that my wife can have only the best sinigang. <laughs> awesome. Sixty seventy four. <laughs> done and done. <laughs> you can stop Costco. What, what are you gonna get here? <laughs> Ice cream. <laughs> I knew it. It's a trap. Yeah. Just Dad. gonna stop at Costco, get a few things. <laughs> The acai berry ice cream. And then you get ice cream on the way out. Mm -hmm. Oh man, I'm gonna sneeze. Don't sneeze on camera. <laughs> Can't help it. It's bad luck. <laughs> Something's dangling on my nose. <laughs> See how exciting marriage life, married life is? Groceries. Eating out. A place called Costco, it's very sophisticated. <laughs> See, we leveled up from grocery order to Costco. Life is good. <laughs> Hello again. So we're getting we're heading home. We're done Mamalenke for for the synagogue. And we got a lot more for the future, like the future. No, so we're heading home now. We na kami, so it's really nice. Yeah, we got lots of snacks. A lot of like. A lot of delicious foods. Yeah, I'd like Filipino stuff. And Katrina is gonna be. Oh, Katrina is super happy. I know I am. Thank you. <laughs> This is my third year anniversary celebration. That's right. <laughs> Three years in America for this one. Yeah, that's awesome. I'm happy. I'm happy here. Like, I love the Philippines, but I really thought that this is my home now because I've already envisioned Tim is mine. 
I've already envisioned my future here, future kids, and my family. So hopefully we want to have my mom and dad come over to visit. So yeah. That's right. We'll see. We'll see if they'll get it. When we have children, we're going to need help with babysitting. <laughs> so Mommy Jay is going to have to come over. I know. My Mommy Jay. My mom, Jeanette. Yeah. Super Mario. <laughs> That's my dad. He can help me with that. He can help me work on the house. Yeah, he's a handyman. You want coffee? Oh, uh, not really, love. I thought about it for two seconds. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm good. <laughs> oh boy. Person driving like a maniac. They want their coffee. <laughs> I know. Nobody can stop. A wild me. child's here. Yeah, our life is just, it's basically this, you know, like, we love running errands, we are not very, we're not very outgoing, so we just love doing stuff for the house, doing grocery shopping, we're very domesticated, as you say. Yeah, that's right. And, yeah, so, but Tim's hobby, he likes taking pictures, so... You know, we would go to places to take pictures and stuff. I don't really have a hobby. <laughs> oh, you like you, you do some gardening, some cooking. Oh yeah, it's true. I, I garden. I you like some of that stuff. But that's basically it. They're very like simple. That's right. Simple people. So that's see that's one thing like with with the one that I discussed with with my dating video. It's really important that you guys match with your, you know, being practically compatible because if I'm a very outgoing person and your partner is not, then you know, there's going to be a little bit of a conflict. Then you might not, you, you, it's, can, it can be like a source of misunderstanding. Yeah, the beauty of our relationship is when we have a free, free Friday night or we have a long weekend, we just don't do anything. We like to hang out and chill. Yeah. Chilla Billa. Hi. That's right. Or Amazon. Or Hulu. Mm -hmm. You should be a endorser for those stuff. Oh yeah, because I keep talking about <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah. They should pay you. No, they don't really need my help. That's true. They're big. That's right. Send me some money. Just kidding. Not you. Make that pak bet, I'll cook it at outside. Oh yeah? The pak bet, that, that's a uh, fish. Yeah. Right? No, it's like a... Um, it's just a bunch of vegetable with anchovy sauce. Yeah. Yeah. So you're gonna be stinky. <laughs> oh, I know. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> oh my goodness. Oh, bless you. Thank you, love. Secret. I need to have my pressure cooker. Yeah. So Tim, I mean, we have it. Obviously, we have a stove, and I told Tim you can just like have it, and, you know, boil it and it at the stove top. But Tim bought this specifically for that sinigang, so I, I really appreciate the effort. But I saw that it's very pricey. You said ten dollars. That's not ten. I didn't say it's ten dollars. You said ten bucks. I had hundred ten bucks. No, you said 10 bucks last time. I don't think so. Alright, okay, maybe I just didn't hear it. You misheard, maybe. Maybe. It's Instapot. I was like, oh my god, you spent $110 for this Instapot just to make the cinema. Yeah, but just imagine, it makes noises. That's you press like, buttons on it, it has buttons. Yeah, you and your buttons and mushroom. <laughs> well, that's a pretty trick. Um, so, yeah, well, I'm not getting internet yet. Okay. I see 
a sad dog on the app, on Amazon. Oh no. It's busy. I feel like this is, the traffic's crazy. Yeah. It's, um, I think it's because it's a holiday weekend. Yeah, people are going Everybody's out. out and about. Oh, people are probably, you know what it is, Labor Day. Especially. Shopping. Yeah, Asian, Asian families especially. They love having people over and then they're going to have a big feast. That's true. I can't blame them. We need to get some, uh, we need to get some drinks or something. Not drinks as in like booze. We don't, we don't, we don't do that really often. Um, but. Do you have a drink right now? You no, know, just like our juice or like. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah we need to replenish our, we're outside of. We don't have any more beverages outside of water. There are actually a few beers in the fridge, but that's not what we really... That, that beer is probably a year old. We never, <laughs> <laughs> we never drink it. It's whenever we have friends over, they come over and... Yeah, like seriously, we bought that July 4th last year. Yeah, that's uh, a little more than a year old. Yeah. Mm. Oh, it's pizza company. See how nice this ivy is, love? You know, it's well maintained. Yeah, if it's like that, it's nice. Yeah, the ivy we have, that's a disaster to have. That person has like a, a jacket over their window. things that we got. The one you look forward to the most is the synagogue. Yeah, like seriously, I really miss the synagogue. Okay. So for the for people that don't know that maybe from the United States, this is um it's just a, a tamarind soup. Kind of like that, right? Yeah it's tamarind soup. It's a little bit sour. I don't know if there's anything we have that it compares to. Maybe it's a little comparable to Tom. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, a little bit like that. Um, a little bit like that. Tom Yum's probably a little bit more sour. Yeah. I like Tom Yum too. Mm -hmm. That champarado, do I have to do we have to get some milk for it or? Mm, we can just use like evaporated milk. Like from the can. Okay. That's cool. Yeah, but we didn't get dried fish for it. Oh no. Because I never, yeah, I forgot, but it's okay. I mean, we can do it the next time. That's right, I'm not going to eat the dried fish. Yeah, I've never tried it either. So maybe just. Uh, <sighs> you love all rice, so. I'm going to get you, uh. I'm sure you'll like it. Yeah, so it's nice. The rest of the day, we really don't have much to do. Other than that, mm -hmm. maybe do a few chores around the house. Mm -hmm. Already installed the toilet seat. Right. That was a big win. See, we have three bathrooms, and so it's only two of us, so we really don't need any more than three bathrooms. And we've had a toilet seat that we've needed to replace for a while now. And uh, today, I finally got motivated and did it. I'm a very handy man. I even asked Katrina. <laughs> no comment. She thinks it's real funny, but that, it's okay. to that toilet seat was installed for free. That's true. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs>
getting some sweets, but then I'm like, no. I think I'm getting my sweet. I mean, I'm not really a sweet tooth, but I crave for sweets like really a lot more lately. Yeah. Which is I'm not, you know, like for a long time I don't, you know, when like we're still very strict with like what we eat. Uh huh. So I think I'm scared to like be addicted, addicted to sweets or like you know crave it a lot. So I'm like, yeah, I don't, I don't want to get it. Oh yeah, sweets are the best. Yeah, but that's like what. I think it's the worst to when it comes to like gaining weight. Oh yeah, because it's empty calories. There's no protein in it. Yeah. It doesn't satiate you. Yeah, but I've been craving a lot of sweets, but yeah, I shouldn't. I'm glad I said no. Me too. I'm glad I said no. Oh. We have mo <laughs> we have mochi. Oh my god. Oh yeah, mochi is mochi is delicious. Yeah, maybe tonight we'll have a little mochi. Oh boy, it's got some real daredevils over here coming in out of lanes. 